welcome back to the Girly Girl Bookworm. So today I have a weekend reading news video for you. I wasn't sure if this was going to be a video, but it turned out it was going to be. Um, if you watch my weekly wrap up, you know that I finished this lovely book, City of Heavenly Fire, this weekend. But I already talked about it, so I'm not going to talk about it again. Five stars, and I'm just going to leave it at that. And then I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be reading too much more unless I read like five books on Sunday. And I ended up reading two. Yep, you heard me. Two books yesterday. I wasn't feeling very well yesterday. I kind of didn't leave my bed. Um, so I picked out two like shorter books and I decided I was going to read them. So that's what I did. So the first book that I read was The Statistical Probability at Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. I've been really wanting to read this ever since I bought it, which it wasn't that long ago, but like I've been really looking forward to this because I've been wanting to read something by Jennifer E. Smith. These covers are gorgeous, so I had to get to it. And so I picked it up, and it was not what I was expecting. It was kind of a big, huge disappointment. Um, I gave this about three, three and a half stars. Um, I... My pers what I la, 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 I could talk today. Um, what I had heard before I went into this book was oh, like twenty four hours in an airport, and I was like, that sounds awesome. And twenty four hours in an airport, I could understand a love at first sight kind of situation. They were probably in the airport for about three hours, and. Then, obviously, the flight, which there, there's a girl. Her name is Hadley. She's going to London to see her father get married. She misses her plane and meets this guy. And, obviously, that's where the love at first sight comes through. And, I don't know. It just really kind of bothered me because I really was expecting this airplane, like, this airport situation. And it wasn't like that at all. And... I liked the characters, like I liked Hadley, I liked Oliver, and I liked the family dynamics that we were learning about and kind of that kind of thing, but the love kind of really bothered me. I don't understand their love situation, if you get what I'm saying. It just seemed too soon, too rushed. I don't know. Like, it was like they got off the airplane and it was like, oh, we love each other, and I was like, what? Well, they didn't really say that, but I don't know. It wasn't, like, my favorite. And I, even though I keep saying, like, their love story, like, I feel like it, even though it's kind of a spoiler, it's not really because obviously the book is called Love at First Sight, so you know they're going to get together at some point during this book. So, I don't know. I didn't really enjoy it that much. And then I read Heartless by Sarah Shepard. This is... The seventh book in the Pretty Little Liar series. I am almost halfway through the series. And I gave this book five stars. I just think these are such quick, fast, easy reads. And they are so interesting. How I don't know who to trust, what to trust, anything. Just so much drama happens in each one of these books. Like, I finished this one and I almost right away wanted to pick up the next book. But I told myself, no, don't you dare. So, I didn't, but it's so good. Like, I don't understand still why there's 16 books in this series, but I still, I'm enjoying my time with them. So, even if it takes me another, like, bajillion months to finish. But, yeah, I love these books. And I don't watch the TV series, so don't spoil me on anything down below, because I don't watch them. I'm just reading the books, so five stars for Heartless. So that's what I read this week and weekend. Um, I'm busy-ish a little bit today and tomorrow, but my goal is to get through the summer I turn pretty series this weekend. And uh, not this weekend. Oh, I can't talk today. This week I would love to get through that trilogy if possible. If not, obviously no, no harm, no foul. But um. Yeah, I hope you guys had a really good weekend. Let me know what you read down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody.